it, even if it's not in your field, if you like doing it, like make a make a job out of it. You know what I mean? Scoot over a little tiny bit. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. You better believe it. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. Get that understood. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. You better believe it. I'ma be happy. I'ma be good. Get that understood. Hello, curls. It's Yolanda Renee. Hi, curls. Stepping back. <laughs> and so we're here finally doing the fiance tag. She made me do this. Yeah, I did. It took forever because we've been engaged forever. I'll even have to go on Facebook and like look when we posted the original video to really remember the date. Do you remember the date? September. Nuh uh. It was August. No, it was in September. I'm about to look on Facebook. But yeah, so basically we're going to <laughs> we're going to do the tag. We're gonna first tell you about our you know what? I need to go get my ring. Here, you talk to Shana ain't got talk the to ring. them while You see what I mean? <laughs> Look, curls. She leaves the ring everywhere. Like she did all this work to get this ring. I give her the you ring. And the ring is dope. She leaves the ring everywhere. She just went to New York last week. Calls me. I'm sorry I left the ring. Is it is it okay? Is it, I'm like, why am I babysitting the ring? It shouldn't it be on your finger. Bye, um. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to tell you. Okay. This is what I do while I'm recording. Huh? All right, so we're going to tell you our, our story of how we got engaged. And then we're going to go over some questions that I found on the internet. So, yeah. All right, so some people probably haven't seen you because he's never on my channel like I literally had to beg him to even be here today so some people probably don't know who you are so kind of give me a little intro I mean I'm Devin Beck he's my fiance yeah my <laughs> fiance um I kind of stay behind the scenes I always see her uh doing her camera thing I'm not camera shy but I don't always want to be all all up in the videos <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was know. Diddy. I don't want, nah, that's your night. Oh. Oh. But Sorry. I don't want to be all up in the videos. I just, you know, when she asks me to do something, I do it. Or you might see me. You might see me like walking on the beach or. Or you might hear him interrupting my original, like my original content. Yeah. But if that's I'm, me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> like rattling the cereal bags and stuff in the kitchen. I have to cut and refilm. That's me. <laughs> But anyway, all right, so let's talk about how we got engaged. You can start because obviously I didn't know. <laughs> um, I had been thinking about, I had probably been thinking about getting engaged or marrying her for probably like two years. I've been, I had been thinking about it for like two years. So and mind you, we have been together for what, 10 years 10. now? Yeah. Like 10. But. I always believe that people should be battle tested before they get married. So I'm like, we'd have been through everything. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time. I, one day I just got up and I went and I went to uh, Zales. I think it's Zales. And I went, you know who it is. <laughs> and, and I went to I went to the to the back and I found the perfect what I felt what I felt like was the perfect ring or the ring that, that she would like and um my wrinkly fingers. I uh I kept it under wraps. I didn't tell I didn't tell her mom. I didn't tell She was mad. I too. think I told a couple of no nah, who did I tell? Her? I think I told Kobe. I told Kobe, I told Jay what I had done. And um I was trying to hide it because she real nosy. So I, I thought, am not nosy. Whatever. I thought she was going to find it. I thought she was going to find the ring. So I and, didn't. Um, I had absolutely no clue. Like, none. Because? Because we were together. Like I said, we've been together for 10 years. So, you know, a lot of people in the comment section always ask, like, why aren't we married and all that. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not that chick where, or neither one of us in the relationship were pressuring each other to get married. Like, outside people were kind of pressuring us. Like, I remember one time I was excited to, like, get married because other people were like, Y'all need to get married. Y'all been together. You might as well. And when people did that, it kind of caused, like, 
some issues with us, didn't it? Even though we really weren't making an issue of it, it was because and, other people were like, you need to, you need and, to. And that's, I think that's where we kind of grew. We grew in our relationship through that situation because we we decided not to let everybody else influence right. what we do. It's, it's like whatever goes on between Devin and Yolanda is between Devin and Yolanda. Like, now I might talk to my, my boys every once in a while, but it's never like, Yo, she get on my nerves. I'm like, I might say she get on my nerves, but I love her. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's nowhere near like, yo, guess what? And just spill the beans. It's like, we kind of keep everything real close to us. And whatever goes on between us four goes on between us four. So I think that made us grow a lot in our relationship. But bottom line is we both were chilling. Ew, that's so gross. We both were chilling and, you know, that's really important. We weren't pressuring each other to get married. We were just Mm -hmm. chilling. No. So, but anyway, yeah, let's get to the actual engagement story. So, I'll start. Okay, go ahead. All right, so I'll start because um, I did my tour, Yolanda Renee Takes Your City, which is still going on, by the way. I think we're going to pick back up in Oklahoma City in October, so check out, I mean, wait for that. But anyway, so we were doing my Atlanta stop, and Devin comes with me on the stops because he just likes to be there with me, and he sells the merchandise for me, even though I didn't tell him to. He just jumped in there. So, yeah, so we were traveling to Atlanta for this event, and it was at, what was the place called? Do you remember? Um, we should remember, because that's important, right? Um, it was a spot Oh, on, my God. It was a spot on um, Love and Hip Hop. Oh Hold on. Oh, I'll my God. You, I'll tell you what it is. <sighs> Damn it. That is so dumb. And I did the fly. Oh, is it on the fly? Oh, we didn't even get to take the flyer. Boogaloo. Boogaloo. Yeah, Boogaloo Boogaloo Lounge Lounge. Atlanta. That's where my event was. It was BET Awards weekend, which was freaking bananas. And we didn't know when we were planning that it was going to fall on that day. So that's all I have to say about the story. He can finish. Um, got to Atlanta. I'm hiding the ring. I know that's what I'm doing. I wasn't getting cold feet. I was just nervous because what was what was gonna happen? I was supposed to perform, and then after the performance, I was gonna go into my spill about how you know she's everything to me, and you know how I need her in my life and all that. And then I was gonna ask. So fast forward to the event. My foot is hurting all day, and Sabrina. You already know. You already know. She was like, why is your foot hurt? I'm like, I don't know why my foot... Sabrina, natural partners in crime. After I did it, my foot stopped hurting, but... Um, so that means you were stressed? I don't know what was going on. But we were. I was supposed to perform. We get there. Nothing is really going as planned. Um, she was real stressed out. It was like a lot of stuff going on. We didn't get to eat. It was just like a lot of stuff going Basically, on. Basically, like I said, it was BET Awards weekend. We rented the spot, Boogaloo Lounge, for my event, a natural hair meet and greet event. So, the it was a nice crowd, my crowd. Then, all of a sudden, all these people start showing up. It's freaking 2 chains. Who else? Shy Glizzy. I don't even know who that uh, is. Shy Glizzy, a rapper from D.C. Um, who else? Some, the girl, what's Brandy. The- what was it? Bambi. Bambi, of yes. Love Pop. All uh, these people just It was like a whole bunch of celebrities started coming. So and took over the spot. I didn't get to perform. So I noticed that she was... I'm And they lit the weed up in it. Like, it was like... It was chaos. It was like natural hair and weed smoke. Yeah. And I'll never forget it. But um, I was going to snatch the mic and rap anyway because that's just who I am. But I <laughs> decided to wait until we got outside and I told... Uh, I told my boy. I look real short. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I told I told my boy, um, Dirty Dwayne Wyatt, what up? And I met uh, B's husband, uh, Meta Lifted. Go follow them on um, Instagram. But uh, I met them, hey. and I and I was talking I was talking to them and, and having a real good conversation with them. And I told them what I was gonna do. Like nobody you told else. B? I didn't tell B. Oh. I told her husband oh. but i was telling him what because he had the camera so i'm like so i need you to, i need i need you to capture this and i was uh, on a step and repeat taking pictures 
like people you know how you do on the step and repeat red carpet they came up we took pictures smile all that and then here comes Devin I think I was actually taking a picture with someone and you kind of like like made her move or well, was I by myself you was by yourself for so, a second so I took that second and I told the Wayne I said this is the time so and I remember that part he came up to me and he was like whispering something and he was like, we need to talk, we need to talk. And I immediately started to panic because I thought something was wrong with Taylor and Skye. Oh, no. And That's what I wrong. thought. Nothing was wrong. Like I was, and I, I figured since the, the, the event was going in the direction that it was going, I thought she was stressed out mm -hmm. and I thought that she was like kind of pissed off. So I said, this would be the perfect time to eliminate all that and go through with my proposal as planned. And um, I think it worked out. Came up and I said, I can't imagine my life without you. And um, I asked her what she was doing for the rest of her life and if she would like to spend it I don't even remember me. any of that. She don't I remember was that. She was just like, oh my God, Devin, what? What? And then peep this. She <laughs> is gonna say, I didn't think you had a ring. Like, who does that and doesn't have a ring? Like, where did you get money for I a ring? I saw the black box, and I know how he is. Devin, he is like, he models our relationship from his parents. And I feel like your mom did, like, most of the stuff around the house. His dad was, like, the manly man who just, like, cut grass, go to work, that kind of stuff. So Devin's like his dad, like he, I just felt like he didn't know the steps to take to get a ring. So I really did not, you have to admit, you even just said it. You didn't know how to get a ring at first. I didn't say I didn't know how to get a ring. I said, I didn't know how we don't pay for a ring. Same thing. He thought he had to have the bulk of the money and just go buy a ring instead of, of course you can make it. Well, most people just want to, most, I'm trying to, listen. But anyway. Black people, I'm trying to clean my credit up. So I'm trying to buy it. Walk out of the store with it and not have to worry about it no more. Shout out well, to Zales because they try and get at me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, when he when he started talking, it wasn't how he normally talks to me. So I knew something was about to happen. And then he went down on one knee and pulled this black box out and I lost it. Like I was in shock. And I we have it on video because there were so many people there like from the event. You know, and they took video, so I'm really happy it worked out that way. So we have the video of the moment, but at the same time, the video is like bittersweet because I was look, I look like somebody died, like because I was so shocked. Like I wanted to cry, but it wouldn't come out. I couldn't smile. Like I really had no control. And when I look at the video, I'll try to like post it in here. But y'all, I look a hot mess. Like I was like, Devin, you should have told me so I could like be all cute and sexy nah. and be like, yes. Ten yes, years I'll after ten it. years after ten years, Girl, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it right. My hey, face fellas, you looks do it so right. bad. I'm so upset about that video, but whatever. Doesn't matter. I, I was happy. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be good. I mean, seriously, I'm just so happy. And then to be able to have that on film and also share that moment with my girlfriends that were there, it was just so perfect. Yeah, I, just, I, th I thought that right there. I think whenever you have an event or you're doing something like that, I feel like you're in your element. That's when you're happiest. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and, and, and sharing that with everybody else. So uh, my thought process was, to make those moments just as special, you know, I'll share that with everybody that yeah. really reaches out and, and loves and supports you. So yeah, so that's our story. Yeah. And two chains kind of made the story. Shout out two chains. Shout more out more interesting. Shout out Glizzy. Y'all was in the building while I was out. They don't engaged. even know. He knew. Because one of them was walking by when I was on my knee, and he just gave me the, you know, oh, I think that's that was so Shawn Glizzy. He was just like. But he kept walking, though. He didn't stop and, you know. All right, so up. just in case, I know you guys are wondering, when is the wedding? And just like it took us forever to get engaged, we're still chilling. We're still yeah, chilling. Well, see, the thing, about, the thing about getting engaged is that, is that that's just saying, hey, this is where I'm at. Like, I'm, I am here with you. 
I don't want anything else. I don't want it. And like, I, I think we're both growing. I think we're both growing, and I like the space that we're in. And not saying that I don't want to. Not this get apartment. Married. Nah, nah. We getting listen. We getting out of here. Stack. Yes. But. But anyway, so yeah. So as far as planning, we're thinking next year, um, September, August, I or you se- said August. yeah, August twenty seventh. I think I forgot. But anyway, it's gonna be in August. And it's going to be here in our hometown. And well, yeah. this isn't my hometown. Well, it's kind of our hometown. Well, it, Taylor Sky's hometown. Yeah, it's Taylor Sky's hometown. But, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so I'm thinking about doing, um, you know, vlogging during the planning process because I'm pretty sure people want to, you know, if you're planning a wedding or something, I can help you with my vlogging. So yeah, I may do that. Um, but yeah, so now that we got that out of the way, it took forever. We're going to do the um, fiancé tag, I guess is what it's called. So there's just a few questions, and I guess we both have to answer. Yeah, all right. So the first question is, who in the relationship is the most romantic? Me, no question. Absolutely not. It's me. You lying. You 